Chapter 1. No Singing Summer was half over, and Hank still had no bike. The doorbell rang. What do you want? Hank asked Yolanda. Yolanda held out a goldfish bowl. Everyone's away. Don't kill my fish. And Hank's mom said he had no manners. What does he like? asked Hank. Yolanda stomped her foot. She likes singing. Don't you, yummykins? Yolanda made kissy faces. Ew. What's its real name? asked Hank. Yolanda put down the bowl. Her name is Yum Yum. Here's her net. Does she do a high wire act? joked Hank. Too bad she's not a clownfish. Yolanda stomped out. No singing, he told Yum Yum. Yum Yum made fish faces at Hank. Yum Yum was boring. Maybe Hank could teach her to jump through a hoop. But what if she jumped out? Hank would never get his new bike. Hank stared at the fish. What are you doing, Hank? asked his mom. Making sure she doesn't escape, he said. You need fresh air, said his mom, sighing. Chapter 2. Fresh Air Hank pulled weeds for five days. If only he had a bike. He laid back on the grass. It felt cool and smelled like summer. Do you know how many ant colonies you could wipe out? Janie appeared from nowhere. Hank wondered how many Janies he could wipe out. Go away! Janie pulled gardening gloves from her purse. You missed a clump. Plants grow better if there are fewer weeds. I'd grow better with fewer Janies, mumbled Hank. And, said Janie, if you put copper along the edge, it will keep out pests. Hank opened one eye. Even you? Tisk, clicked Janie. She pulled two bottles of water from her purse. Keep hydrated, Hank McGee. Hank sat up. If I take a bottle, will you go home? Janie crossed her arms. What? asked Hank. You want to weed? Thanks, said Janie. Girls were weird. Janie pulled out a tiny watering can. She watered until the dirt was soaked. Soon those weeds slid right out. In an hour, they were done. Great job, kids! called Hank's mom. Lemonade! Janie sniffed. No new pets? Ha! said Hank. I do have a customer. Janie sniffed again. She looked around. She closed her eyes and listened. It's a fish! Did Yolanda tell you? asked Hank. Janie smiled. I'm not sneezing, I don't hear scratching, and there's no smell. It's a fish! Hank led Janie to the fishbowl. Meet my customer. Janie moved closer. You mean your ex-customer? That fish is dead. Chapter 3. A Plan Hank looked closer. Yum Yum didn't swim. She didn't make fish faces. She just floated. Upside down. This wasn't good. There goes your business, said Janie. Hank hated when Janie was right. When Yolanda found out news would travel fast, he'd never get his new bike. Are you going to flush it? asked Janie. She shook a black veil from her purse. I can't just flush it, said Hank. Of course not, said Janie. You need a memorial service, too. Hank couldn't hand Yolanda an empty bowl. Maybe he could make it look like Yum Yum was still alive. I'll jiggle the bowl, he told Janie. Yolanda will think Yum Yum got excited to see her and had a heart attack. Poor little fish killer, said Janie. The sorrow has addled your brain. What? asked Hank. Yolanda will notice and that fish will stink. Janie pinched her nose. Too bad I can't just get a new fish, said Hank. Janie smiled. 
You just had a good idea. Hank brushed past her. Let's go. Janie pulled her veil over her face. Not so fast, mister. She pointed to the toilet. Hank ran for the fishbowl. Stop, yelled Janie. You can't flush her golf course in Mini Mart. Hank put down the bowl. Yum Yum was still dead. You have to say something, Janie whispered. If you want the service so badly, you say something, Hank said. Janie handed him the net. Hank scooped up Yum Yum. We are gathered here today. Janie elbowed him. That's for weddings. Hank plopped Yum Yum into the toilet. Hey, she moved. Janie crossed her arms. It's from the drop. You should have been more gentle. You should have done it yourself, said Hank. He watched Yum Yum. What do you say about a dead fish? Here comes Yum Yum. She was orange. Flush. Chapter 4 The Imposter At the pet store, Hank chose a new goldfish and a toy. Yum Yum was oranger, said Janie. Hank handed the pet store man the money. You have to unclench your fist, said the man. He peeled the money from Hank's palm. Enjoy! When Yolanda and her mom arrived, Hank's tummy rumbled. He shook so hard, some water sloshed out of the bowl. Yolanda stared, squinty-eyed at the fish. This isn't yum-yum. Yolanda, warned her mom. Hank, asked his mom, frowning. She was happy, said Hank. Then she died. I knew it, yelled Yolanda. This fish is an imposter. Hope you like her, mumbled Hank. And her trapeze. Yolanda hugged her bowl and stomped out. Thank you, Hank. Yolanda's mom paid him. Plus extra for your trouble. Hank wondered who his next customer would be. As long as it didn't swim, he couldn't wait to find out.